Okay, well, if you're like me, and you've seen the leaping arches out there on other people's videos and thought I need some of those, uh, here's a little video that I made that shows you what mine look like when I tested them, and then I'll show you how you set them up in here. Arches are handled a little differently. We'll go to Setup Display. And on the plugs, the reason I actually built a second box was to handle my leaping arches. I built four of them, which means I need 32 plugs because each arch is made out of eight segments. And so we're going to go down here and we're going to unpatch the second 48. We'll start at 49, go down, hold the shift key, highlight them all, click unpatch elements, and they're no longer attached. I'm going to delete them just by right clicking and telling it to delete. So now this just has the 1 to 48. My second controller, we're going to set up a, another set right here for it. We're going to add the generic number group. We're going to call it arches. Item prefix of arch. And I have four of them. So let's drop down to four and OK it. Now we have a new group called Arches with Arch 1, 2, 3, and 4. Each arch is made up of eight different segments. That is to say that one string of lights was wrapped around an area about a oh, foot, foot and a half long. And each set of lights has its own plug, so it takes eight plugs to run one arch. So we'll have to cut each one of these up into eight segments. We'll do that by right clicking. Click on add multiple. This will be a numbered item. We'll change the name by highlighting here. And we're going to call this plug. And we're going to click on the numbers here because you cannot call two items the same thing and we already have plug 1 through 48 used up here so the first one here is going to be plug 49 so I'm going to highlight this change it to 49 now it's already set up to step one at a time simply by adding them. so we'll add eight of these that's nine that's eight okay and I'll okay it so now if we look inside arches, we have plug 49 to 56. So we'll do this on all four. Right click, add multiple, numbered item, name is plug. Click on numbers, change the first one to plug 57, and generate 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's nine again. Eight. <laughs> okay. Right click. Add multiple. Numbered. Plug. Numbers. 65. And generate eight. Okay, it. And last time. And okay. 
So now we have plug 49 to 56, 57 to 64, 65 to 72, and 73 to 80. Now we have to patch these onto our controller. We'll be using the second controller. We'll open it up. The first eight and we'll do that by highlighting the first one, drop to the bottom, hold the shift, and click again. Now these have to be patched to the first eight over here. So one to eight. And we'll patch them together. Next eight. Third set. And the last eight. Now our arches are patched in. We now have all of our arches ready to go, so we're done with this screen. I'm going to OK it to save it. We'll go back to set up previews, highlight it, click configure preview, and our arches are ready to go here, but we're not going to choose anything yet. Instead, we're going to first draw the arch. We're going to click it, start at one side and across and down, and now we're going to set the lights at 32. Right now this uh, particular arch has 25 lights on it. The reason for 32 is we need at least four of these lights to light up each time that we uh, use this arch for each individual plug. So 4 times 8 is 32. So we're going to change this 25 to a 32. Now instead of a standard string type this time, we're going to highlight it, which brings up the down arrow, and we'll change it to pixel. And now where it says linked elements collection, we're going to highlight this line, and we get another box. When we click it, we now see that we have elements here, 1 to 32. So we want to light up at least four of these for each plug in our arch. So you do this by linking them together. So you drag it, holding down the left button, over onto one, and you have to do this four times on plug 49. Then plug 50 for the next four. And you keep on going until you get all 32 of them. We're not doing this because it changes anything of an, on the arch itself. The arch still has one plug that runs one segment. What we're doing this for is strictly for our previews here as we draw the arches into our preview. Just so that it looks nicer. You could do it by having each plug run one straight string right there. Uh, using one of the single strings and just draw little little areas at a time until you had an arch. You'd have to make eight of these for one for each plug. So it's simpler to do it this way. So I'll be right back as soon as I get all four arches drawn. I'm going to OK this and we can see that the arch plug 49 now lights up the first four lights on the arch. 50, the second four, and so on, all the way around. So I'm going to do this four times. Be right back. Now 
and now have all four of them drawn and they're patched and ready to go so let's start writing a sequence we're going to close this to save it okay it